<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome back. It is the District 95. And on this beautiful Monday morning in Washington, D.C., I'm checking out this game that a new follower of mine put me on to on Twitch. Shout out Dubstep Kush 305 because he mentioned this Saturday. But Test Drive, and this is a trailer from July 6th, 20th last year. So I had absolutely no idea about this game until Saturday, basically. However, Dubstep Kush 305 put me onto this. It's a new test drive game, Unlimited Solar Crown. I haven't played Test Drive since the 2002 game, which I had till like I was in high school. So it, it's been a while since I've played a Test Drive title. I haven't touched Unlimited, which, if memory serves me correct, is a is more of an open world game. Say like Forza, so well, Forza Horizon. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and check out this trailer, or gameplay trailer, whatever the fuck it is, and I'm going to see how it looks. So, let's get to it. Make sure the sound is up. Okay, we got an Aston Martin 177 and a Range Rover. If I got the 177 wrong, I apologize. Okay, G Wagon, Porsche. That's a fire transition right there. I really like that. That one too. Okay, so we got where it's gonna be set. Hong Kong Island. Hmm. I. Hmm. I think I'm kind of neutral on this. Yeah, I, I'm a bit neutral on it. So let's roll over to Google really quick and. Check it out. Uh, see if there's anything. This is from three days ago on the drive. New test drive unlimited game pushed back to 2023. Skips PS4, Xbox One. Okay. So, originally scheduled for release September 22nd. Test drive unlimited solar crown. What does that mean? Unlimited solar crown. What did I... I don't get the name, I, but so be it. Solar Crown has now been pushed back to an unannounced date in 2023. With so much support from the series, 
We know many of you will be disappointed, but our goal with Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown is to make it the most polished gaming experience in the franchise by spending more time on its development, developers wrote this week in a Steam blog post. Take as much time as you need. What's more, those looking to explore and build a supercar collection in this game's virtual replica of of Hong Kong next year will have to get their hands on a current gen console, which has been largely impossible unless you pay out the ass from a scalper. Either a PlayStation 5 or one of the Xbox Series machines, because the game's last gen PS4 and Xbox One versions have now been cancelled. Finally, with the aim of making the most of the technology and the latest consoles and maximizing the overall quality of the game, Nakon has decided to no longer develop Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Devs wrote, the, wrote near the end of the post. <laughs> it's not all bad news, though. The makers of Test Drive are promising closed beta phases for keen fans to test an early version of the game which I will be getting. Oh wait, uh, oh, I have Xbox on my PC, so what the fuck am I talking about? If that works, I don't know. The upcoming racing title will also apparently feature a major lifestyle component, letting players not only buy, drive, and form bonds with their virtual rides, but also do all of the little stuff you do in a car in real life like Listening to the radio while driving, putting the top down when the rain stops, using the turn signals properly, and even simply opening the window. For the uninitiated, Test Drive Unlimited is a series of open world racing games. Forza Horizon before Forza Horizon, essentially. With the last entry, Test Drive Unlimited 2, having released way back in 2011. So this is basically between... Eighth and ninth grade. Twenty-two. No, ninth and tenth grade. Never mind. So yes, last game that came out was back when I was in high school, and I didn't play those titles. And the last test drive game I played was the one from two thousand two. It's a long overdue follow, follow up. Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown will continue to offer open world car thrills, but notably do so on a 1 1 scale map of Hong Kong Island, so excluding Kowloon. I hope I pronounced that right. As impressive as that may sound, Hong Kong physically isn't actually that big of a place, as densely populated as it may be. According to GT Planet, the Ultimate Solar Crown map. Uh, the unlimited solar crown map, if geographically accurate, would roughly mirror the size of Forza Horizon 4's map, with almost 350 miles of road. Still, though, I'm mighty stoked to finally get a to finally get to visit a rendition of my hometown roaring around, and what I'm sure will be a vast array of luxury performance cars, without you know, the risk of being locked up for talking shit about the CCP or the Chinese Communist Party. I don't want no sauce. Free Hong Kong. Hashtag. So yeah. Seeing the trailer. Kind of neutral about it. Game won't be. Game's been pushed back to next year. So that kind of takes some of the air out of this. A little bit. But Again. Take as much time as you need. Make sure you get this shit right. But some of the cars I recognize. So right here, we got the Aston Martin, Range Rover. And again, if this is not the 177, sorry for getting this wrong. Um... Something about this photo right, well, this frame right here is bugging me. Something's bothering me about this shit. And it kind of looks, 
virtual. I'll leave it at that. So you got the G-Wagon right here. And the Porsche. Now, it's not a Taken. It's not a Cayman. I'm trying to remember which model of the Porsche this is. But I can't. I'll look it up later. You got the futuristic BMW right here. And what I presume to be the Lamborghini Aventador. If I'm getting that one wrong too, please let me know in the comments. And again, as we see, Hong Kong Island, apparently it's not as big as this. So I need to ask my sister because she used to be a teacher in China. I wonder if she's ever been to Hong Kong. And so if she has, I'll ask her how big it is. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. If I have anything... If I had to give a word for how I feel about this, it's neutral. But if any more news does come out about the game, I'm definitely going to be checking it out. But that's oh shit. That's all I got. Yeah. So neutral is how I feel about this. Not too bad, not the greatest thing since sliced bread, but then again, we'll just let the devs take their time, and hopefully, we get something that's good. But that's pretty much it, so I will see y'all next time, hopefully some more news out about this comes out. Also, this is my uh, first recording, so if, you know, if I seem a bit, you know, I guess hesitant or I'm going in circles, that's the biggest reason, but I'll be doing this a lot more in the future, so be on the lookout. Enjoy your week. Thank you.